Deary me. What are you doing in here, love? This is a place for grown-ups, you know. Folks who like a flutter, not kiddlywinks like you. Hey, I like to gamble just as much as the next guy. Is that so? Then either ante up or run along. There's people in here who've no time for rubberneckers. And you're one of them, I take it? Crikey, you're a charmer. Do I really look like such a big old meanie? <laughs> yep. You look like you'd gladly take us for everything we've got. Who, me? Oh, I'm a pussycat love compared to some. I just play the cards as they're dealt, that's all. Yeah, right. Ach, so what if she's a touch of the untrustworthy about her, Adele? Are we with the dangers what makes places like this so much fun? Now there's a man after my own heart. A bit of risk. That's what grown-up games are all about. The name's Shirley, by the way. Charmed, I'm sure. Now, if you really are here to play, I'd recommend a hand or two of B&D. It's what this place is known for. B&D? I've never heard of it. How does it work? <laughs> Keen to jump right in, are you? Tell you what, why don't you practice a bit with one of my decks first? It's easy enough to get the hang of. You'll be up to speed in no time. Sure, why not? Let's give it a try. See? It's fun, isn't it? Ah, it's a good one, all right. Easy to learn, but hard to master. And there's always the risk that it'll all go wrong. Please don't get hooked, Elvis. We really don't have that much money. Listen to this one cracking the whip. No one likes a penny pinch, love. Especially in here. And yet I'm the one who came in with a bunch of friends, and you're the one sitting all alone in a gambling den. Oh, the gob on her. I think we're gonna get along, you and me. Don't count on it. Ah, come on now. Can't we all just be... Well, maybe not friends, but... Can we at least be civil? Ugh, fine. <laughs> of course we can, my love. Gambling's no fun when it's no fun. Now, let's talk about this one here and its natural flair for the game, shall we? A few more hands and you'll be ready for the big leagues, I reckon. Tell you what, keep the cards. A little present from your Auntie Shirley. You've got used to that deck now, after all. So, get out there and have some fun. And when you're finally ready for a real challenge, you come and find me. I'll give you a proper game next time. A real challenge, huh? Something tells me we'll need to practice quite a bit for that. Well, as long as it doesn't distract you from our other duties. Oh, sure. Don't worry. I'll just play the odd hand here and there. Hey, can I try a game or two as well? I reckon I've worked out a wee system. Great! Bankruptcy, here we come! Man... The Muse has deserted me. Left me stranded without so much as a sniff of inspiration. The Muse? Wait, you're not planning more musical mischief, are you? Ugh. What? You're about to wail on me too now. I already got my butt handed to me at the gaming hall. And now I've lost everything. My asterisk, my once in a generation talent, the whole shebang. After the time I've had, I just want a quiet life. I'm done with drama. Wow. Sounds like you've really been through it. Ma'am, you don't know the half of it. And all thanks to that silver-tongued temptress. Here, get a load of this. So I was having a little flutter, you know, trying to take my mind off things. And I was on a roll, hit after hit, just like the good old days. Get a load of you, eh? Can't stop winning, can ya? Guess Lady Luck figured I needed a boost. A coin or two to drown my sorrows with is the least she owes me. Well, since you're doing so handsomely, I wonder if I could ask you a favor. Sure. Who knows? Now things are on the turn, I might even be inclined to help you out. Could you give a girl a gambling tip or two? I'm all alone tonight, see? 
No one to talk to. No one to play with. Hmm, <laughs> now that I can help with. Stick with me, kiddo. I'll make you a star. Should have known she was playing me like a damned fiddle. Oh, well, would you look at that? I think I might have won again. Gah! I don't believe it. All right, once more from the top. I was totally sucked in. Threw good money after bad, hoping to make back my losses. Turns out, she had me right where she wanted me. I was her hapless prey. A fly trapped in a web of deceit. So, she rinsed you for everything you were worth, huh? You two are listening to this, aren't you? The same thing will happen to you if you're not careful. No offense, but I don't think I'm that easy a mark. Pride like that's exactly what comes before a fall, though, eh? Indeed. Look at me. No asterisk, no inspiration, and now not a penny to my name. Thank you, and good night. All I have left to live for is the hope that I might get to see Shirley's career go down in flames someday as well. Hey, how about it? Fancy a freelance gig teaching a dirty rotten cheetah lesson? I'm not so sure we do, actually. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Still, you'll be going up against her, even if it's not for the love of your old friend Orpheus. She's got one of those asterisks you guys go crazy for, see? Ah, she know. Yeah. Thought that'd change your tune. I hate to say it, but he's right. If she has one, we need it. Exactly. Here, this'll help. I kept it up my sleeve for a rainy day. An ace in the hole, if you will. Should hit her right in the fields. Now get out there and knock her dead. looking forward to this but be warned when I win I'm taking you for everything you've got your precious asterisks included what that's what you've been after from the start afraid so as a matter of fact I knew all about you lot before you even set foot in here Bernard told me tried to take me on lost then couldn't keep his mouth shut in the aftermath proper miffed at losing an asterisk to me he was Hmm. Everyone seems to want to get their hands on these little lovelies, don't they? Well, I'll play fair, of course. If I lose, I'll hand mine over. Promise. Up for a game? I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, fancy your chances, do ya? Righto. Do your worst.
No. No! We win. Come on. You know the deal. Hand over the asterisk. Dirty, rotten sheets. Eh? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I say. There's no way you lot should be beating the likes of me. Hey, but no one can win all the time, right? Isn't that what gambling's all about? Oh, yeah. Rub it in, why don't you? Cheeky little sod. I'll teach you. Boys! Take care of this little lot for me, and I'll forget what you owe. All right? Very well. Please, you must not take this personally. Orpheus, not you too. Don't hate the player, guys. Hate the game. I have debts to pay. Done with drama, huh? Yeah, right. Hey, you're the ones who stole my gift. If you're looking to blame someone, maybe try looking a little closer to home? Shut it, you. These lot are getting clobbered, and I'm having their asterisks. Let's get down to business, shall we? My old man were high-born, you know. Rich as you like, until he was swindled out of his fortune. After that, Mum left, and Dad died of heartbreak. An experience like that teaches a girl that people value one thing, and one thing only. Money. Pure and simple. Here I go. Yeah! Allow me.
Does that feel better? Oh, thanks for feeling you. A little magical assistance. That feels great. Let me at him. Here it comes. Hmm. What's the plan? I'll sit this one out. Tasty box. Allow me. Very well. Spirits protect us. Here I go. You may feel a little sting. <laughs> right. Let's do this. Two arms. We stand firm for now. Let me at him. Now what's next, I wonder? Primordial forces consume All you. Right, then. Let's see how you deal with this.
Over. Really? We beat you at B&D. Now we beat you in a fight. What are you hoping to lose at next? Shut it, you. You'll not be so full of yourself next time. Why does there have to be a next time? Why does everything have to be a competition with you? Aye. If we've no reason to take you on, which we don't now, why would we? <laughs> hey, um... About that money I owe you. Oh, leave me be! Honestly, you're all as bad as one another. I'll teach the lot of you one of these days. H hey, wait! Does this mean we're quits, or...? Ha! Told you there was something fishy about her. I will. That's what gambling's all about, eh? The thrill of the unknown. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Well, at least we have another asterisk. Um, I was wondering, now that that's all dealt with, would anyone like a game of B&D? Huh? I'm reasonably certain I understand the rules now. And, well, I did go to all the trouble of acquiring these cards. Whoa! Where the heck did you get those? I'd give my right arm for... Uh, sure, Gloria. I I'd love to play, but, uh... Maybe some other time, okay? Oh, what a shame. I was so looking forward to trying my hand. I never even knew she played. Me neither. But if she can bluff like that, she'll be an important and a half. Gloria, too? Ugh, just my luck. 